the last few days, I've witnessed attack after attack on a sitting president of the great United States, President Donald Trump. Quite frankly, I have had enough of this. The last debate should scare the hell out of you. As the moderator himself, say what you will, protect the Joe Biden from answering real questions, but force selective questions on the president to make him look terrible. How many times must Trump denounce certain organizations? The mainstream media, in my opinion, folks, they've lost all credibility a long time ago. This was confirmed during this specific debate. They refused to talk about this president's impeccable record. He has done more for you than any other president in the last 50 years. Suddenly, we see movie stars supporting Joe Biden. They say Trump is dangerous. Oh yeah? As if Trump has created World War III. Where have you been the last four years? There's peace in the world. Don't lie to us, Hollywood. You know, since 2008, I lived and worked in America for a number of years. I saw former President Barack Obama being elected as the President of the United States. I didn't really like what he was doing. I always showed him respect. Why? Because he's the President of the USA. The same people on the left who held office for eight years cannot give this President just a little bit of respect. And you saw it during this debate where Joe Biden, the Democrat nominee, called this president of the United States a clown, an idiot, and a liar. Can you imagine this? Trump is not a racist. That's a perpetual lie from the fake mainstream media. Trump is doing a fantastic job, but the media is conveniently hiding his impeccable record with COVID. For goodness sake, he closed the border on 31 January 2020 and then went to work fighting this disease. How many more people would have died if Donald Trump does not close the border on 31 January 2020? Conveniently, this fact gets excluded from everything that's happening. The terrible job in certain states where a lot of older people have died was due to the own radical left, your own Democrat people that made bad decisions. Don't go and blame Donald Trump for their stupid decisions. And now, since Trump has got COVID, the fake news media is at it again. Because of the constant barrage of attacks from the fake news media, the fake stories, the fake videos that are going around, my family are going to vote for Donald Trump during the 2020 election. And for the people of faith, like myself, those who believe in God, your very own religious liberty is now at stake. From what I can see, Trump stands like a barrier in between protecting your religious liberty. Have you noticed the radical left is okay if there are protests where they burn the cities down and where they gather in big groups without a mask? They 100% okay with that. But they are not okay if you assemble in your own church. They're not happy with that. You have got nothing to lose to vote for Donald Trump because you know what you're going to get. The same impeccable record that he had for four years, expect this 10 times better. The economy will boom. And I tell you guys this now, if the radical left gets into power, you can kiss your finances goodbye. This economy will go into a spiral. This will be the worst economic season that you will ever experience. I see it in my data. You've got nothing to lose by voting for Donald Trump. And because of all this fake news media, you are going to cause that a lot of people will be voting for Donald Trump again, even a lot of Democrats. Good luck, Mr. President. We wish you and the First Lady a speedy recovery. May God bless you. And may God bless the great United States of America.